Greetings, Leonardo back with more Battle of Operation 2. And today we're going to take a look at one of the newer banner suits, the, hope I can pronounce this, Todas Ritter. Um, I'm just going to call it Ritter from now on. Uh, slightly larger version of a Pale Rider, like modified up, to basically have it match up with the Shah's counterattack suits of the time. The suit itself is a native 650 cost, just one of the most expensive suits that you can field in the game. And stats wise and part slot wise, it seems it's a very all round suit, you can kind of play it in any style that you want. In the case of me, since it's got so many uh, range weapons, I use it mainly as a shooting general. And that's a combo that I usually go for like this, so lead off with the bits using the beam rifle shots that they have and then instantly combo into the uh, melee style buzz blade swords that it has. And a few times I'm going to use melee. Twin sword for this suit. It does have an additional uh, pair of beam sabers as well that is used on the shoulders. But apparently that's only for the counter animation, and spoilers, uh, I don't use that. I've not even seen it once. The Knuckle Buster, then it, it can charge up to stun. It also fires six shots quite rapidly, actually. In the reload time, it's pretty good because it's uh, magazine fed. So, with me, usually I use the Knuckle Buster as just a quick firing gun rather than actually charging up the shots a lot and I probably should spend some more time charging up shots but there's so many weapons at the disposal I'm kind of just rotating around in a circle especially since I use the uh, shield beam cannons as the main kind of spinning weapon like there and then when they're uh, stunned I quickly fire one or two shots from the Buster. Mm. As you can see already in this match, we've been taking the quite a lot. What I remember is this match was kind of a bloodbath, really. I don't know what the hell happened. Although, seeing as we've got some of the ever so popular Blaze, I think I can see the reason why. Seems that we've got them pinned at the back, can't really move out. I personally don't like being in this situation myself, so I can fully understand. Trying to just single out the prey here with the suit itself. Another one down. Um, yeah, so another weapon it's got that you just briefly saw there was these um, little rapid fire beam cannons as well that are actually mounted just behind the mobile suit's head. They also contain the hyper beam savers as well. So it's kind of a two-in-one weapon. I use those in place of the Falcons because they have a longer range, they hit harder, and you get quite a lot of shots from them uh, before they have to overheat. Just checking all the weapons to make sure they're all ready. Posing with the sabers out for one reason or another. So here we go, we're going to try and get this combo going again. And quickly switch to the melee ones. Didn't quite happen then, but we'll send them out anyway. I love how I see the cables when they launch as well. And there's a uh, first guy to leave the match. Obviously saw what's happening in the side of the ditch. Uh, this was a quick match, I believe, as well. I don't think it was a rank, so... I'm not sure why I did that. Good damage, getting some bonus points there. Evidently, I wasn't trying to necessarily get kills as well, because I think at the time this was only the second time I'd used the in the match, so I was still kind of getting used to it. So I didn't want to become the ace trying to practice with the suit while being bombarded by the enemy. <laughs> I 
Wow, and the enemy team has not even reached a phantom punch. Again, when you're being bombarded like that. I've been there, I don't like it. Unfortunately, it happens. Here comes the ace, it just happens to be a raid. So it was very nice to take this one down. Everyone centralizes shots on him. Stunned and down. It's so nice having so many weapons on this suit as well because if the uh, beam cannons on the shield it uses up 90% of the gauge to do it, so it gives you a, quite a lot of time to go through all your other weapons and then get back to it again. And by then it's usually pretty down. As for mods and such on this suit, I kind of went um, all around the world with it. Uh, just generally put on higher fire control, quite a bit of melee mod, I think level 4, uh, leg armor upgrade, thruster upgrade, just a little bit of everything. I'm finding it's working quite well. Uh, I do have to practice with it a bit more, especially since I don't really enjoy doing these high cost brooms, but uh, at least as a suit I quite like using now in it. So that's half the challenge done. I mean, when you're a beginner on this game, it's quite hard to get into, especially at the start, because you've got barrel scrapings. And now that there's so many uh, different boss rooms, you're really going to be limited on the amount of suits uh, that you're going to be comfortable with. On the other hand, don't be, don't be scared about using a suit that might be 50 points, maybe even 100 points out of cost range. Um, as long as you're modding it by sending it to the suit at the hangar and just practicing with it more and of course getting the uh, correct weapons for whatever level the suit is, uh, you can, you can you know, support the team quite well and still win your matches until you finally got a uh, a suit for that cost bracket. Anyway, the match is nearly over. As you can see, it was an absolute massacre. Still. Did we finish the ace off before the match is over? I think so. <laughs> oh, and it was me as well. Lovely. Bye bye, Raid. Bye bye. And just have to hit the Hades for swag. <laughs> I'm always forgetting to activate that. Any suit that has it. Oh, I really need to um, ram that through my skull. So anyway, that is the, I'm trying to say it again, Todesritter. I love it, it's a beautiful design suit. Um, four and one, not bad at all. If you're lucky enough to get one, by all means try it out. I recommend it. <laughs> I'll see you all next time.